Steve Bowers and Cassandra Fuller. Look here, she's back. I did. I, I came said, back. I said right here on television last week. I said she's Jamaica. She's gone gone two weeks. She's not. She's not coming <laughs> she's back. Not coming back. She's not well, coming back. Well, you know, I, we're going to find out about the trip later. We are. I said yeah. if you stayed another week, everybody in the island would be converted. <laughs> <laughs> down on, down on that mission trip. That's right. You know, so we were doing work. I said, I said that sounds like you. Next it was time nice. I take a mission trip, but it wasn't any relief from the heat. It was uh, hot there too. I'm going so. to Hawaii. Somebody needs saving over there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. Just going to Guinea or something like that, right? That's it's just good what you, you need. Back. It's good to be back. We have a lot of folks on the show today. Beth Kaufman is going to be with us. We got the Jackson Awards coming up in November. We're looking for nominees right now. That's an important thing in this community. Tom Turner and Benny Dentner with us. A bridge is going to be renamed, and we're going to get the story on that. They're here with the uh, Veterans uh, Veterans Organization, and we'll find out about that. Plus, Emily Garner is here with West Tennessee Heart and Vascular Center because it's your favorite thing. thing yes, it's the Tennessee Rhythm Run. I've been in every Half year. marathon and 5K. In spirit. <laughs> We're going to learn a lot more about that. All and then right. also Richard Barber is here because Aspel Recovery Center is have, is adding a women's treatment housing Very unit. Very important stuff for Aspel. We're going to find out more about that, too. John Weissheimer is with us. He's got a music pathway website that we will to which we will introduce you. And we'll also talk about the Legends of Tennessee Music Museum that's in the Carnegie here it's in right Jackson. right here in Jackson. Plus, we're going to talk to you. That's right. We'll talk, learn about the, uh, the, the two children's homes that okay. we visited. They're run by Salvation Army. So in in we'll Jamaica and what life is, is like there. Plus, we're delighted to have Alexis Malone with us. And it's her first Alexis, time here. First so time with us? It okay. is. First time with us. And so we're looking forward to introducing you to this very talented young lady. All that is coming up as we continue. Get ready. This is Six, Six in, in the, the City. city. <laughs> this changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. JA Site Pay Kiosk are the convenient way to pay your utility bill. These kiosks are featured in the foyer at Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and at the drive through at Pleasant Plains Extended. Use your account number and follow step-by-step -step prompts to pay with cash, check, credit, or debit card. Account credit is immediate, and a printed confirmation receipt is provided. Another step in customer service at JEA today. Hey, it's me, Baseball. I'm going to be playing all over the place this summer, but there is one place you can catch me all season on ESPN. Catch the best night of me, baseball, all season on ESPN. to Six in the City. Beth Kaufman is with us with the foundation. They haven't got a thing going on. No. <laughs> she she needs all. something else to do. She's been off for a month and a half. That's right. It's good to see you here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank it's you for a, having well, me. First of all, uh, an event coming up this week, the foundation makes grant uh, uh, decisions every year, and you've got organizations that are being recognized, and, and those grants will be announced Thursday. Right? Thursday at morning at the as, chamber. As far as the amount. Yes. And how are those organizations determined? Um, we have a submission process every year in the month of February, um, okay. so we open it up to any organization that serves Jackson, Madison right. County, or funds of the foundation, and they submit those, and then they're reviewed and scored, and okay. so we pick 10, 10 finalists this year, and we'll be okay. announcing those amounts. Is that the number like, usually every year, 10? We've actually to, grown it. This is, is just our third, third year third to year do to it, do, okay. and um, so we've, I think last year we had eight, so this year we're up to 10. Yeah. Congratulations wow. to those good. organizations. There are many that are worthy in this community, but that's a special recognition, so you'll be hearing about that coming up Thursday of this week. And, and then something else is coming. Got a brand new event coming. We're getting into a tennis tournament. We are. The West that, Tennessee Invitational is back. It's back. Yeah. It used to be in town. It's been gone for a while. But the Ayers Children's Medical Center Advisory Board um, is bringing it back with a tennis tournament September the 14th through the 16th. It'll be at the Tennis Center out on North Highland. And it's open. It's, 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 it's a, a open uh, division. division thing. So, so anybody can pretty play. much anybody can play. play. That's <laughs> what that means if you don't play yeah. tennis. Yeah. Um, we'll have singles and doubles. Uh, registration's open now. You can find um, all the information you need at West 
westtninvitational.org. West West TN Invitational. Invitational. So if you're a tennis player or aspire to be or whatever, get go out there. Go ahead and get signed up. Doug Roth will go easy yeah. on you if it's your first time. <laughs> No, he won't. But, yeah. <laughs> but it's open to teens. teens. It's all, all ages. All ages. Singles, mixed doubles, And if you want to sponsor anything. this tournament, that sponsorship information is available there as well, right? Yes. Right. So it's, we it's will, real big we will gladly take your Looking money. Looking forward to having it. <laughs> Maybe it'll be a little bit cooler Beth's this fall. That's not going to turn any money down. Right. So. I've yeah. never turned money down. <laughs> 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 Got $5. Can I be a sponsor? That's right. Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll put your name on a tennis ball and throw it at least once. That's right. You're so, the tennis ball So get in there with sponsor. us. Going to the Ayers Children's Medical Center and, and, and patients thereof and families thereof. So it's important work. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about the charity gala that's coming up November the... November the 10th. All right. Which a highlight of that is the presentation of the Jackson Awards. Right. That and started when? It started in 2006. Okay. So this will actually be the 13th year we will have presented the Jackson okay. Awards. All right. And um, it seems like that's way far away, November, but uh, it takes us a while to get all of those people notified and get photos, and they go in our invitations, which go out in September. So now is the time to all make right. your nomination. The nominees so are due nominee. July 31st. July 31st, two okay. weeks from today, uh, if they're watching it on Tuesday, yeah, but July 31st. And we can go online to nominate? Yes. Uh, thecharitygala.org okay. slash Jackson will take you right to okay. a page. Um, it's an online nomination form. You just fill in the blanks. It'll tell you what information we need, and you hit submit, and then it comes to mind. There are different box. categories yeah, of awards, categories? right? Yes, yeah. so we have six categories, right. uh, arts, uh, community service, education, health care, leadership, and volunteer service. Okay. All right. And so the only requirement uh, that we have is that they are a Jackson or Madison County resident. Hence, Jackson Awards. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's whatever category they fit in. Sometimes they may fit into more than more one category. Yeah, I was going to ask, okay. can they be nominated in yes, more than one category? people do that a lot. They may say, oh, they're a great leader, but they also are a volunteer. volunteer so they sure. are welcome to nominate them in multiple categories. Okay. They're welcome to nominate multiple people. Okay. Um, so all of that, we, we welcome that. And, you know, once you've done it for 12 years... You need the community to tell us who's out there yeah, working right. behind the scenes. Right, because right. um, that's that's like you said, a lot of those people are behind the scenes, so you don't really know exactly what they're doing. Absolutely, and they're usually the people that aren't looking for recognition, mm -hmm. but definitely should be recognized. Right. And so we want right. people to nominate. TheCharityGala.org. Org. Now, Jackson. are tickets available for the for the Yes, they, oh, are. they are. Absolutely. All right, okay, so. <laughs> tickets are ready. She'll take that money and put it on me, interest for six months. That's right. She said she won't turn any money down. It doesn't matter to us if you never show up. <laughs> That's right. If you just want to buy tickets, and give them to somebody else. We'll do that too. Okay. All right. So just go to thecharitygala.org. Thecharitygala.org. Those, those tickets are priced out. Um, they are two hundred fifty dollars uh, a person, or right. table of eight would be two thousand. Okay. And All so right. we have sponsorships that start at three thousand and up, and uh, okay. they come with patrons' party tickets and whatnot. So we've got they, lots of yeah. lots different, of different things. different right. levels. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right, so all this it. So go to thecharitygala.org and do anything. You buy tickets, sponsor a table, nominate. whatever, and nominate more right. than one. Give us all right. an auction item. Okay. I mean, whatever you want to do. do. You all just right. call me. We'll work it out. Right. It's good to see you. <laughs> Thank you, you very much. Good to have you, One of the busiest ladies we know right here in Jackson. We'll be back with more Six in the City. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's Fiber Network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Stop and think about your health. Don't smoke. If you do, quit. Eat healthy. Make small changes in your diet that can impact your health. Be more active. Start in small ways and keep going. And know your numbers. Your blood pressure and your cholesterol are important to your health. Friends of Heart ask you to be a friend of your own heart. Propane, 95% generated in the U.S., is a gas that works anywhere. Central tanks for fleets, vehicles. Portable tanks for forklifts, lawnmowers. The fuel you can take anywhere. Even backup generation runs off propane, household appliances, outdoor features. To find out more about affordable, clean, versatile propane, contact JEA's ProGas, 422-7500.
the alternative fuel that makes sense. Propane, part of JEA Today. Welcome back to Six in the City, and we're going to shift gears a bit. We're pleased to welcome Benny Denton and Tom Turner with us. Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 995 is, is the organization they represent. And two weeks from today, we're doing the show on Tuesday, Tuesday the 31st, 31st. Of, of this month. There's going to be a special ceremony at the VFW on Airways, and it's a bridge renaming ceremony. Bridge renaming. We're renaming the bridge South Fork of the Forkadere River down past the fairgrounds will be renamed Vietnam Veterans Memorial Bridge. Okay. We feel like this is a welcome home to all the Vietnam veterans and actually to all veterans. It's just real special for all of us veterans to have something like that going to happen. Okay. Before we get into that, how do you get a bridge named or renamed? What's that process? <laughs> yeah, how long six is months? that process? I was, I started, you can't just go over and put up a sign. No, I guess it's you six could, months. But it might not stay. You got to start through the county commission, then it's got to go to the state, to the House of Representatives, and it takes time to work all the way through the system. This bridge, bridge is being renamed. Renamed. It was named the South, South Fork, Fork of the Fork and Deer River Bridge. Okay. Yeah. It needed renaming. It yeah. needed <laughs> renaming. That was too long of a name. Yes. <laughs> now it's going to be Vietnam Veterans Memorial Bridge. Bridge. Okay. All right. So, so about a six-month process. About a six-month process. Through. What's going to happen then at this ceremony on the 31st? Well, we're going to have the unveiling of the name. The state will have already put it up, but it'll be covered, and there'll be some presentations. Uh, Ed Jackson will be there, uh, Jimmy Eldridge, they got some presentations and all, some programs and all to do with the naming of the bridge. And uh, it's actually just a welcome home event for all veterans. So you want everybody to be there? The we camp. want everybody to be there. We want to fill that VFW plum full. Okay. That will be at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, July 31st, then, with the, the naming of, of this bridge. Had one recently done in honor of the late Bobby Carter. Sure. out on the north side of the city. So right. these, these certainly are appropriate decisions that are, that are being made. Tom, tell me about the work of, of this chapter, uh, 995. What all uh, do you all do? Yeah, VVA 995 is probably one of the most active chapters in the state, uh, second probably to Chattanooga. But uh, we do a lot of work in schools. We have a special honor guard that we do military funerals for deceased veterans. Uh, we love to go to schools and talk to young people about the flag and what it represents and what it stands for. So anytime we can get in front of the public and sing the praises of the good old USA, that's that's what we're here about. Okay. If people are interested in having you do these presentations, because you do them at church groups and everything else, right? How do they go about contacting you? Uh, they can contact me, and I can give you my phone number. Sure. It's three four three one nine six zero. Or uh, you can contact my uh, assistant commander. <laughs> I'm the commander of the honor guard. That's okay. what I'm okay. saying, commander. <laughs> All right. But uh, Wayne Hodge is okay. also another fellow that you can connect with. Uh, sorry, but I don't have his phone number. Okay. Right 343 1960. Yes. If you want to do it. How long has this chapter been organized? Uh, the chapter itself has been around uh, probably 15 years okay. at least. Uh, so we a have a relatively new thing. Relative, right. Yeah. 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 We have about 130 members. We're very active. At our monthly meetings, uh, we have great representation of the membership come out. We would like to invite any Vietnam veteran that would like okay. to associate with some old guys like us, have a good time, <laughs> yeah. to come to our meeting the last Thursday of the month okay. at 6 o'clock at the VFW on Airways. And on Airways. that address is what? Uh, 285 Airways. 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 285 Airways. Airways. Uh -huh. yeah. There's been a lot of great work done at that. Uh, that, that uh, you drove by it lately? Yeah, I yeah, was over nice. the other day yes. for the Memphis Jones Looks show. Looks great. I hadn't yeah. been there, and it, uh, that was a well-attended show, by the way. And, and uh, But it's very impressive the work that's been done around that, that chapter, uh, the VFW chapter house and all. Yeah, we owe a lot of that to the new commander at the VFW, Tom Buck. Okay. He's putting a lot of time and effort. We invite anybody to come by. Take a look at the walls on the inside of the VFW. It's we have. impressive, yeah representations of each war, pictures, orders, all kinds of memorabilia from those. We'd like anybody to come in and look at it. It's 6496, right? 6496. Yes. And, and 
But this, uh, this ceremony is coming up Tuesday, the 31st at 10 o'clock, and everybody's invited to be there or be a part of this, uh, this veterans organization. I do want to add a note in that we do have a veterans cemetery, and Benny and all you guys were involved in that at Parker's Crossroads. That is now open officially, and you, you can start submitting applications, and you do that through the state, right? Through the state. There's yeah. websites you can go through. Okay. Yeah. And you have a Facebook page for this chapter. Right. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just check that on. It is Vietnam v Veterans. VVA995. Right. VVA995 on Facebook. Keep up with what these guys are doing. It's good to see you both. Hey, Thank main you thing being... is we need everybody to come and support us for this bridge renaming. Okay. Bridge renaming we'll the get 31st. Everybody out there. Right. Good to, mention that. good to see you. I'll see you on the good. radio soon. Thank you. Thank Thomas, you. good to see you. We're delighted to have this young lady with us. She's making her first appearance with us, the very talented Alexis Malone. Alexis? You better choose carefully Cause I I'm capable of anything Of anything And everything Make me your appetite Make me your one and only But don't Make me your enemy Your enemy Your enemy So you wanna play with magic Boy you should know you're falling for baby do you dare to do this cause i'm coming at you like a dark horse are you ready for ready for a perfect storm perfect storm cause what you're not what you're not there's no going back Like a bird, like a bird without a cage Down to earth, if you choose to walk away Don't walk away It's in the palm of your hand now, babe It's a yes or a no, no maybe So just be sure before you give it all to me All to me, give it all to me So you wanna play with magic you know what you're falling for Baby, do you dare to do this? Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse Are you ready for, ready for A perfect storm, perfect storm Cause what you mind, what you mind There's no going back So you wanna play with magic should know what you're falling for Baby, do you dare to do this? Cause I'm coming at you like a dark horse Are you ready for, ready for A perfect storm, perfect storm Cause what you mind, what you mind There's no going back Thank you Ready, set, go for it. It's your adventure. This is your GAC. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. Renew Biomedical also uses the same great JEA broadband service as well as the JEA telephone service uh, to make sure our service customers get the support and service they need, both uh, via phone, email, and teleconferencing. 
uh, we ship uh, service uh, loaners and we, it's imperative that we uh, keep in contact with our, our service customers and get them the feedback they need and the only way to do that is with reliable internet and telephone connection. Welcome back to Six of the City. We will have more from Alexis coming up in just a few minutes. Good to have her with it us. It is good to have her. Emily Garner is here, and it is time for the Rhythm Run 5K, half marathon, anything else in between or beyond right. that you want to do. Right? That's right. It's coming up September the 29th. It's so Saturday, why are you here it? so soon? Because we need participation. <laughs> <laughs> she wants you to sign up. So Absolutely. We're, we're and and then you have to train, right. too. Right, that's what I'm saying. Because oh, yeah, so guys like myself can... You need get to ready, prepare, prepare for it. Get in there. That's I, right. I, I you start now, you can train and you can run this. It's for marathon. Friends of Heart, which is, is an important thing. So you is. Know, heart health is a very yeah. important thing. This is our biggest fundraiser that we have annually is for it? Friends okay. of Heart. We okay. usually raise about fifty to sixty thousand dollars a year for wow. Friends of Heart. That's okay. one of the big reasons why we can give out the AEDs and put the technology in the hospital is is because this okay. we have small fundraisers, but this is the largest one so that we have every the, year. This, this is the big daddy of these things. And this is the main one. That's right. This is the fourth one. So you can go to tnrhythmrun.org. Um, you can register there, and that tells you all the information. Um, or you can also go to our Facebook page. You can click register from there as well, and it also tells you all about the registration. It starts at 7 that morning. So um, it's a Saturday morning, so you can get up and get your run over with and do the starts rest of your day. Lift. It starts at the lift downtown. Yeah. kind of path is mm -hmm. two loops, two It is. Six it's point. the championship-style loop. Um, if you're doing the half marathon, because you can choose, you can either do the 5K, which is chip-timed, um, okay. Or you can do the half marathon, which everybody in the marathon gets a finisher medal. And if you're doing the half marathon, then you go the two. two. Um, the okay. one lap is the 3.5. So, okay. yeah. So there's a lap, 3.5. There's a lap. You can yeah, also, so you can if, do you're, it. if you're not a runner and uh -huh. you still just want to come and support, um, we do have a Miracle Mile walk. It's a one-mile walk, and it's okay. free. Okay. So you can come okay, out and do that see, as well. You can, you can do Probably that. Be a part of you that. can get come down, do the walk, <laughs> cheer everybody on as we go around. Loop, I might loop, be ready loop. to do the 5K. <laughs> I'll see you there. I'll be looking Don't for you. Don't say it in front of Emily because she will <laughs> sign you up. I will Emily, call you morning up. I'm going to go at 4 o'clock in the morning and say, okay, let's get after it. Right? Yeah, and registration is how much for the for the marathon, half marathon? So the half marathon, if you if you pre-register, if you register online, it's 65, morning of it's 70. Um, the 5K is 25, morning of it's 30. 30, so. Okay. And yep. you register again at TN... TNRhythmRun.org. TNRhythmRun.org. Rhythm and yep. that'll be Saturday, September the... And the all the money benefits Friends of Heart. All right, so, so let's talk about Friends of Heart. What yeah. is this for people that don't know? Um, so it's a fund that we started up. We're actually almost two years old, officially, um, coming up. We're having a two-year celebration next week with all of our members and sponsors. So we just started up this fund because we wanted to be able to help our local heart patients. We want to be able to keep supplies here and resources here, so we... Um, put out AEDs. You know, I've mentioned we've mm -hmm. done about 38 to 40 AEDs now just in the past year. We donate out those all over West Tennessee, not just Jackson. Um, patient education, staff education, technology. We helped put the robotics PCI system in the cath lab. Um, our ultimate goal is to one day have our own heart hospital here in West Tennessee. What so. would that mean if we had that? So that would mean that um, it would just be one location that... In, now, when you go to the hospital, you may have to go to different floors. There's different clinics. All of the clinics would be in one setting. Place. It's one easy place that you can go to get all of your outpatient treatments, inpatient, surgeries, anything. Like, anything related anything, to the heart. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. We have the Kirkland Cancer Center. We have a Met the A.R. Children's Medical Center. Right. That it would be a lot like, like, like yes. that. So mm -hmm. it would be, okay. Very integrated. What would that take, Emily, to, to make that happen? Um... Some great donors. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, it's, I think the Kirkland Cancer was like a $5 million donation. It was. Right, that, the Kirklands were great to donate, and that, that, that's right. really what we would love to have. Um, that's our ultimate long-term goal is to be able to have that, that and it would be so here. great for our patients and our communities of West Tennessee to have it. Because we do everything here except transplants, Except right? for as transplants. Far, as far as heart surgery. Yeah, and we work with Vanderbilt to do that. Okay. So. All right. Well, it would, it would be an important step to the medical community. It and for well, say for the medical community, it benefits patients to have a place. I, I was in uh, in Missouri recently and, and met a man that had 40 chemo treatments, and he had come to Jackson, Tennessee, to Kirkland. Much more comfortable to come here, he mm -hmm. felt, than to go to Memphis. Right. He preferred being here, preferred being in town, staying in the city. Mm -hmm. I thought, you don't think about all that, how That's much right. it can reach people mm -hmm. from... You're here with your family. and Right. It was, it was just a, a much better setting for mm -hmm. him, he felt. And, and so he... Because he, mm -hmm. he said, well, I, I spent some time in Jackson recently, I think. 
It'd been the old country store. Right? <laughs> Great <laughs> place to go. People say, That's right. Casey Jones Museum. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but it was, his answer it was, threw you but off. But he came here it? for he came here for his cancer treatment, which I thought to Kirkland's, which I thought mm -hmm. was just an unexpected that's and it, interesting yeah. thing. Just because it's the same of, way with our heart center. We serve, you know. I think 19 counties within West right, Tennessee. 50% right, right. of our heart patients come from outside counties. Yeah, so, okay. All right. Go, yeah. Well, the Rhythm Run is coming up run. September the 29th. It'll be on a Saturday, so you got time. Seven o'clock at the If you're in my go kind ahead. of shape, That's we can right. be ready. Go ahead and sign start, up. That way you can training. get your training done. <laughs> That's right. It benefits the friends. You're going to be my trainer. I can be. I can whip you <laughs> into shape, buddy. I want to see you post some pictures of that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I know. About a week. Yeah. About a week full of me saying, I give up. <laughs> <laughs> this is just, hopeless. Just come and support. All right. That's it's right. Good. It's good seeing you. Yeah, we appreciate the work y'all doing very much. We're going back to the main stage as we say, we once again welcome Alexis Malone. I'm on my 14 guy. I'm 14 going, doing it up like my eyes. They say I got a touch, so good, so good. Make you never wanna leave. So don't, so don't. Gonna wear that dress she likes, skin tight. Do my hair up real, real nice. And sink or paint my skin to how you're breathing. Cause I just wanna look good for you, good for you, oh, oh. I just wanna look good for you, good for you, oh, oh. Let me show you how proud I am to be yours. Leave this just a mess on the floor. Still look good for you, good for you, oh, oh. I'm on my Marquis timing, I'm on Marquis timing. Even make that Tiffany jealous. Oh. I say I give it to you all so bad, so bad. Make you never wanna leave. I won't. Oh, I won't. Gonna wear that dress she likes, skin tight. Do my hair up real, real nice. And sink or paint my skin to your heart beating. Cause I just wanna look good for you. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's fiber network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. It's me, baseball. I'm going to be playing all over the place this summer, but there is one place you can catch me all season on ESPN. Catch the best night of me, baseball, all season on ESPN.
with E Plus Broadband and Watch TV Everywhere. You can now take your TV on the go. Just visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to sign up. Then you're all set to catch your favorite shows, movies, and sports wherever and whenever you want on any internet connected device. Choose from our growing selection of networks from your cable package at no extra charge. Visit WatchTVEverywhere.com to learn more. It's easy to sign up for E Plus Broadband's TV Everywhere. Welcome back to Six of the Sea to Richard Barber is with us. He is the executive director of the Aspel Recovery Center. It's always good to, to, to have him with us. Appreciate the work that they do. And there's a special announcement uh, being made about Aspel, and that is the addition of a women's treatment center housing unit, which is pretty exciting, Richard. It's real exciting, guys. We uh, First off, appreciate you having me in. I want to talk a, a, just a little bit about the history of, of Aspel and women. Okay. 2005, we didn't treat women. Aspel was founded in 1979 wow. as a men's program. In 2005, because we're a treatment center, we'd get calls, uh, wanting help for women, right. and we try to make referrals. We couldn't refer them anywhere, so okay. we approached the board, talked to the board about developing some services for women. Uh, we were able to do that. That's grown from what was originally six transitional beds to today we've got 18 beds on campus. Okay. Just last week broke ground on a new 12-bed dorm for women. So. So this oh, goes from 18 so, to 30 then? Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, we'll lose we'll six lose beds because we're going to transition, transition those transition beds over to the new dorm. Yeah. So there'll still be a net of That's 24 that'll be there. But we're excited about that. And I, Steve, Cassandra, one of the, I think this is a byproduct of opioid addiction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're seeing more and more women in treatment. Had a meeting with the, with the sheriff uh, last Friday. He talked about 20 years ago, the criminal justice complex had four, well, actually it was, uh, they yeah. watched the annex now, or, yeah. or right before it opened. Yeah. Uh, they had four beds, four for, beds women. for women. Last Friday, they had 91 women in the criminal justice oh, complex. Wow. So, so certainly a lot of the people we see in our program are people that wow. had been in the criminal justice system. Okay, all right. The stat I saw this morning that stunned me said 91, 90, 91 people today are dying in this country from opioid overdoses, and I ran that times 365, which is a stunning number. Then also, Tennessee has over 1,100 per year, so we have more than our share in this state. Uh, if you think about 50 states or whatever, it's just stunning what's happening out here. Since 2012, Tennessee has been one of the top three. It changes from year to year, but every year, one of the top three uh, states for, for writing prescription opioids and consuming prescriptions. And that's, when, that's where it's coming from. Yeah. It's coming from the, the writing of the prescriptions. It is. When we, start, when we start talking about things such as Aspel, Jonah, the other great organizations that are here, the Jack Jean Shelter was the first one for women that I remember down in Savannah years ago. I was working in that area when, when, when they op opened that. But it, it was around alcohol treatment and all that. This is, is it different treating opioids than treating other addictions? Is it, the, is it the same process, Richard, or does it demand something different of you? Well, it, it demands support services. What we're seeing is a high rate of relapse with opioid addicts. Uh, certainly, there's a high rate of relapse for any addiction. Mm -hmm. We treat the addiction, but what we have found, Steve, is we have to have more support services in place. That's why we, over the years, have developed more recovery community in Midtown okay. than a treatment center. Treatment center, right. Because it was 30 days in, 30 days out. That's right. And you right. went right on right. Back, to back to wherever you came, came from. from and, and, and so uh, Aspel has existed to, to, to start providing extended residential opportunities. And now with the Talbot Tower, somebody can live on campus as long as they stay drug and alcohol free, as long as they would like. As long right? as they want to. I mean, we actually lease that apartment to recovering people. Uh, it's 26 units there. At six months, you're eligible for an apartment. You sign on the lease. You'll remain alcohol and drug free. Not allow anybody to bring on the property and you'll be there as long as you want to. Wow. What have you seen Great as a result of that, Richard? Then is that has that developed the support mechanism among residents and, and among clients that you were hoping to see? It has. It, it absolutely. Each year, I got to brag on this a little bit, y'all. I got to do it. <laughs> you go right ahead. Each year, our outcomes are higher than state and national averages. We tie that to uh, developing long-term support services like Tama Towers. It becomes its own community, its own support system. Uh, they have a representative on our board of directors. They have their own officers uh, in their neighborhood complex. So uh, the people that we have had to ask to leave, it's not because we called them. It's because of the rest, the rest of the residents coming to us saying, look, here's what's going on with Joe in apartment four. Okay. And so it's, so a, then it's we, a strong community dependent on is. each other. 
It is. Support well, the thing, if you see that area, and of course there's tremendous growth in that area of midtown and downtown now, but, but then many of the people that have graduated from this program have bought property and live in that, that area, have re rehab Absolutely. housing and everything else. I mean, it's right like, there on Talbot Street, right across <laughs> the street <laughs> from <laughs> campus is the guy that went through there. Yeah. It, bought the house, renovated it for years I was going to live here from now on. Right. Uh, you know, and so it's, it's an amazing story. If people want to know more about Aswell, Richard Barber's with the Aswell Recovery Center, the new women's program, the, the women's residential groundbreaking this week, when, when will it be completed then? It'll be in we're, we're shooting, uh, outside mark is April. We're looking to complete it a little earlier than that. Okay. But right. that gives us a little contingency, but, okay. but certainly by April. If people want to know more about Aswell, then how do they do that? AspleRecovery.com. You can call. AspleRecovery.com. 731-427-7238 okay. or our Facebook page, as everybody has now, okay. yeah. is Aspel Recovery. All right. All right. We'll check with Aspel Recovery if you'd like to be a donor to that program. Such that good news. Appreciate it. And in the women's news. treatment. Uh, e Plus, JA has always been so supportive of our program. Guys, we appreciate it. Well, we appreciate, we what appreciate do, what y'all do. Yeah. It's a life changing. I don't know where we'd be without these. And, and they, all these organizations came out of people's hearts, uh, right. really. I mean, years ago, just recognizing a need and stepping up. Thanks. With Aspel, Jacola, all these great programs. Good to see you. It Great is good to see you, Richard. Appreciate you town, all these people that are working the, these kind of we programs. We wish we could tell you that your job is done, yeah, but, it won't but it's not. I'd love it's to find another job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's never going to happen. Not, it's we not won't work happen. ourselves out of it. John Wrightsheimer is on the way. We're going to talk about music as we continue. This is Six in the City. Hi, I'm Kedrick Perkins, PGA General Manager at Jackson Country Club. Jackson Country Club's amenities are true Southern hospitality. Championship golf course, fine dining, six tennis courts, junior Olympic pool and fitness. We pride ourselves in giving our members the best. Choosing JEA was a logical choice so that we could tie in our phone, internet, and cable solutions so that we can advance our next segment of technology. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Move over. It's the law. When approaching work vehicles or crews, move over to create a safety zone. It protects utility workers, law enforcement, firefighters, and emergency personnel. It's not an option. Slow down. It could save a life. Stay safe. Move over. May I walk you across the street? Uh, sure. Why not? Thanks. You're welcome. John Wrightsheimer is from Jackson, Tennessee, and he's back home after being in Miami and a bunch of other places in this world. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. It's good, it's good to see you. And he's, he's been the commissioner of film and all that stuff in, in Florida and done all kinds of things in his life. He's back here and back home and uh, has put together a project, part of it, I guess, in conjunction with the, the Legends of Tennessee Music Museum, but this has kind of been a passion of yours anyway. It is. It right. is. The Carnegie is uh, the library downtown is houses the Legends of Tennessee Music Museum now. And it's a remarkable story that many people know here, but actually many people in Europe know better than we do. <laughs> okay. So you developed a, a, a website and, and, and all, and you're doing what with this now? We realized pretty quickly that the Carnegie, to, to, to get people to know about, the, its greatest strength is the stories that we have in Tennessee. And so, and they're music stories. They're musicians and music writers. And, uh, and so what we decided to do was to take the stories that we have inside the museum and put them online, as many as we could, and beam them over to Europe, uh, where there's an awful lot of people, three million people a year come from Europe and land in either Nashville or Memphis. And they go to the opposite city. Okay. Land in Memphis to go to Nashville, Nashville to go to Memphis and they drive right past Jackson, Tennessee. If they know about the Carnegie, they'll come to, to okay. the Carnegie. And so that's what we're doing. We're taking the strength of our music stories and putting them online 
focusing on European markets. Okay, and a lot of these people will recognize Isaac Tiger and all these other people. Now, you've got one here with Carl Perkins we're going to show for about 30 seconds of, and, and what is that about, or how is that set up? Well, that's one of the things that we're using to shoot over to Europe, because okay. Carl, of course, is hugely uh, popular okay. in Europe, okay. and uh, it's, it, it's just a setup for, actually, for Facebook. Okay. That's what it was designed okay. for. Okay, let's, let's take a look at that. If you slow down the break on blue suede shoes, you've got basically the little lick that Uncle John Westbrook showed me when I was about eight years old. I just speeded it up, that's all. It speeded up the blues and mixed some Bill Monroe bluegrass flavored with that, yeah, yeah, gospel feeling. That's about it. John, the, the, the site itself is what? It's musicpath.com or? It, it's music-path.org. Or music-path.org. Okay. Right. And you're adding these how regularly now? Every other week we okay. put one up. We're on episode number 10. Uh, Carl was episode 5. Right. Uh, but there's songwriters and musicians from Nashville and Memphis uh, that we're interviewing and we're talking to them about what they produce what they've done, uh, or, or and a lot of it's history. Okay. Music well, you've also that. got, uh, um, if we can go on iTunes, if we want, don't That's want to right. go on the website, we can if, go to iTunes and download the podcast. If you go to iTunes and just type in Music Path without a space, uh, or you could type in my name, but no one, would, my, but my mother would be able to spell <laughs> it. <laughs> so, uh, but Music Path uh, on iTunes will get you, and you just hit the subscribe button, and okay. it's and free. You're, you're there. These uh, these episodes are what length, generally? Fifteen minutes. Fifteen long. minutes. Fifteen minutes. And so on ten, and so every other week these these will be added. It ties into promotion of the uh, Legends of Tennessee Music uh, Museum inside the Carnegie. What do you tell people about the Carnegie that haven't been? And many people in the city haven't haven't been since the museum has been really opened there. The, the most interesting thing that people find about the Carnegie oh. is that uh, is the information about the Hard Rock Cafe. Oddly, yeah. I. We got so much about Carl, and, and it's the largest yeah. collection of Carl Perkins memorabilia in the world. Mm -hmm. But the thing that just stuns people is that the first Hard Rock Cafe in the United States was in Jackson, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. and what do you, think the, the, what yeah. do you think the draw is for the Europeans for, for this kind of music? They are really serious about the, about the history of mid-century uh, music, okay. uh, blues, that's gospel so and rockabilly music. And There's nothing in their culture that corresponds to this. Well, no, and they yeah. were, they just were drawn to, to it. it. Yeah. Uh, and the people yeah. that were at the top of their field, the I, musicians. I think you shared the story. I think Tom Price said one time, he said, we are wired in 12 bar blues. <laughs> and I think that's what they, they heard. I mean, you know, the, the, this fusion of black and white culture that occurred in the 1800s that spilled into this music in the mid 20th century didn't happen anywhere else in the world. It's just an amazing thing. John, appreciate what you're doing. Thank you so appreciate much. Appreciate you taking time to be with us. John Reitzheimer, and it is music-path.org, and the Carnegie is the home of the Legends of Tennessee Music Museum. It's open 10 to 4, Tuesday through Saturday. Be sure to go by and visit. Only place in the world you can get a Hard Rock Cafe Jackson shirt. That's right. So pick Only one up. Place. We're going to be speaking of music. We're delighted to have this young lady with us. She is a student of Kimberly Helton. That's how she came our way, and we appreciate her being here. This is Alexis Malone.
just want to give you the loving that you're missing Baby, just to wake up with you Would be everything I need And this could be so different Tell me what you want to do I know I can treat you better Than he can And any girl like you Deserves a gentleman Tell me why we wasting time On all you wasted crying You should be with me Treat you better, better than he can, better than he can. Give me a sign, take my hand, we'll be fine. Promise I won't let you down. Just know that you don't have to do this alone Promise I'll never let you down Cause I know I can treat you better than he can And any girl like you deserves a gentleman Tell me why we wasting time on all you wasted crying You should be with me instead I know I can treat you better Better than he can Better than he can Better than he can Propane, the affordable, clean, alternative fuel wherever you mow. Find out more about JA's ProGas. Call 422-7500. Propane, the alternative fuel that makes sense. Part of JEA today. For the most reliable drinking water supply at the highest quality, reach for the tap. Our tap water is safe and continues to exceed all government requirements. For more information about our drinking water, visit www.jacksenergy.com slash J-E-A-C-C-R. Hamilton was adopted from a rescue in 2008. He's quite the pug about town. He gets invited to a lot of parties. He knows he's a pretty big deal. I do not love him. Throughout its history, Jackson, Tennessee has been a leader in manufacturing, education, transportation, utility service, and more. But the key to Jackson's future, full gig fiber to the home infrastructure, E plus broadband. Innovative applications, fastest connectivity, revolutionizing everything. JA's fiber network offers Jackson unlimited capacity for any future bandwidth demands. Connectivity, heavy internet usage, the best reliability. Jackson, Tennessee, not just a gig city, an innovation city. Back. We'll have more from Alexis Malone before we get away today. Our, our next guest is Cassandra Fuller. Should have had you sit on the couch. You know, in, 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 she just got uh, returned from uh, two weeks plus in uh, in Jamaica. Actually, I was only there for a week. Oh, is that right? Yes. It's just two Tuesdays. That's yes, we, oh, just okay. two Tuesdays. So. Well, I might as well take the rest of the week off. <laughs> we didn't, I didn't think you were coming back. But, well, um, you know, I thought about that. You have, you have family in Jamaica, so I you do have, have first family hand, there. Uh, first hand experience with the island and all, but but has been down there working with uh, orphanages. And one thing that, in asking Cassandra about this and, and talking about this, is this, this is a tourism driven economy. It is a tourism driven economy. Which I think. And there's no. In between. Middle class. Okay. The, the, you, it, you know, if you, you either, either do it extremely, doing extremely well, or, well you just, or you are living off the land. Just doing, kind of living off the land, the landscape and, and water. I, I think it's a reminder of how important an industry is within a community because it, it provides a, a middle class setting that fuels everything from and education and retail and all the things that enable us to make a living, but it's an industrial base that enables us 
to do this. And when you get into economies that don't have that, like you say, it's That's kind right. of feast or famine. You're either doing extremely well, you own the hotel or you're working in it. That's and right. there's very, very little in, bet now, in you between. Know, it. it also used to be um, industry there was um, the mining companies. They would go in and mine alumina, which right. is the bauxite, which is used to make alumina, which is used to make alumina. So why did that go away? I, I guess the need for aluminum. I'm, okay, I, I don't know, but the, the the factories of the industry there has decreased. You know, because they would ship people in from all over, from the United States, from you know all different countries, okay. to come in to live to work in these factories. So there has been a middle class. There, in, in, there, in, there has in, been. But it's gone away. But it, right. it's slowly gone right. away. So, so what is the work that you do then with the orphanages? The two orphanages that we go to are run by the Salvation Army. That one that you're seeing is called Hanbury Home. Both orphanages are children um, at age what they call zero, which is birth to age 18. Okay. Um, and we were making bracelets there. Do they, they live there all bracelets. 18 years if they are born there? Or? They do oh, live there. Okay. Um, a lot of these children are there um, from um, the CDA, which is the same thing as DCS over here. Okay, so these um, are referrals. They are referrals. They are, maybe they've been in an abuse, abusive situation. Um, physically, um, mentally, uh, a lot of these children have learning uh, disabilities. Okay. Um, they are come they in. abandoned in some cases? Some then? are abandoned. Some have parents that live maybe a mile or two away, but they don't. Uh, that's our group. We had okay. 17 people from the First United Methodist Church in uh, Huntingdon. And this okay. is the sixth year for the group to go and visit. So a lot of these people that you see here have gone every, all six okay. years. And so they've watched these children because a lot of these children have been there okay. since. And so you get to see how these children grow right. and change. And last year I went and there was a, a young girl, um, I think she was six. She was buzzing everywhere. She was all over the place, rambunctious and just, just being a you know typical mm -hmm. six-year-old. This year we go back, she has totally changed personality. She is more loving. She wanted all they, all these children want you to do is play with them and love on them. Okay. And what they don't, there? they don't get that. They get more of a, you know, they, education there is, is really, really important to them okay. and extracurricular activities, not so much. And so, you know, these children are, are edu you know, educated at these homes or at schools close to the homes. I talked to one of the young ladies there. She uh, goes to a school. Just, just think about this. She goes to a school. There's a school up on the hill close to Hanbury where a lot of the children go, but there are other schools in the area. So the bus from home takes the kids to a drop-off point, and then those children get off the, the bus and then get a taxi and take a taxi to school. school. Okay. $70, $70 Jamaican one way. So they're paying $140 to take a taxi to and from school okay. every day. Now that's about $2 US, right? Roughly, Roughly. yeah. Because okay. the exchange rate is like 125 to 1. Right. And the, you know, these children, yeah. they're just, Hanbury was started in 1956. Um, and the, the second home that we go to is called Windsor Lodge and it was yeah. started in 1972. Well, God, just spend another minute on this and then we will uh, close out with Alexis <coughs> Malone. But this, this is Six in the City. Fiber, it may be small, but it is powerful. It connects our city, businesses, and homes to the world. Without it, our ability to compete economically and enjoy technology would be limited. Thanks to the investment in our city by JA, we offer the area's first and only 100% fiber network. When you choose E-Plus Broadband, you get the clearest reception, fastest speeds, and greatest reliability. Thank you for choosing E-Plus Broadband and for your trust in the local service we provide right here in Jackson. This changes everything. TiVo is here. Search and control your cable channels and streaming video apps with one remote. Record six shows at once and build a library of favorites with one pass recording. Then watch on any TV in your home or browse and view on Wi-Fi devices with the free View It app. Call E Plus Broadband to add TiVo and ask about our new packages. The JEA app. With it, you may view the electric outage map, report electric outages, receive electric outage alerts. 
view your current account information in real time. You can even make a payment with one click. Name, account number, you're in. Convenient access with the free JEA app, keeping you connected with JEA today. When you go there and come back here, what's the contrast? It's, it's daylight and dark. It's just, we take so much for granted here that we have. Simple things, ice, clean water, flushing toilet, you know. And you know, granted there are places in Jamaica that have all that, those things, but these, these m the majority of these homes Okay. may have them and you know okay. it, it may and, or may not, may not. Okay. so it's 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 very humbling and and it's a definitely a an eye-opening experience to go okay. and and to just just to love on the kids because that's all they're looking for they just okay. want somebody to pay them attention prospects play games for and them love is them. prospects limited very okay. if they're not educated enough or so if they're you know have some learning disabilities um, by the time these children reach 18 they age out of the system, the system yeah and they oh, have nowhere okay. to go. Okay. So if they're not taught a skill. I just appreciate things. Yes. Should make this announcement a, a lot better, you know. <laughs> we, we, we now have kiosk at the uh, Martin Luther King right. <laughs> Customer Center. Which so is, paying which is utility much. Bill. We can be thankful we're paying it that we've got it. That's uh, right, thankful there, we got it. You there know, are kiosks now, drive through kiosk uh, there at, at MRK. We'll talk about that. Some easy to use, week. it's convenient, yeah, so convenient. just drive through and pay your bill. And that's at our Customer Center on Martin Luther King Drive. All right. Well, it's, it's good to see you. Good to have you back. Thank you very oh, much, you and thank you for asking. There's a picture of the uh, kiosk. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Right oh, yeah, the 20th. Caleb Minter is going to be at the uh, at the amp. That's this oh, yeah. Friday, isn't it? It is this That's Friday. This Friday, Caleb Minter is going to be there. We've been delighted to have this young lady with us. Alexis, is your music available somewhere? or? Um, I take lessons from Kimberly. The Kimberly, Hilton. okay. Mm -hmm. So she's, she's, she's still in the process. Yeah, all right, great. Well, good. Well, it's good to have you here. We look it forward is. to it. I, I know we'll be yeah. hearing more We've recorded. enjoyed having you here, Alexis. Recorded work from her. So we're going to close out the show. This is Alexis Malone. Time to walk away. So come on, let it go. 